Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and we are still talking about lichen sclerosis. Let me remind you that this series of videos are about our immune system response that causes us to have lichen sclerosis. In today's short video I will talk about other autoimmune condition. We all want to know, can other autoimmune condition trigger lichen sclerosis? And how do they actually weaken our organism? Let's go! As we said, autoimmune disease is when our T-cells or T-lymphocytes attack our own healthy cells, our own healthy tissues, which before were absolutely normal and didn't do anything to deserve this vicious attack. But if the T-cells attack epidermis, aka our skin, in one place, what actually stops them from attacking other places? Which means that when you have one autoimmune disease, it is highly likely that with age you will develop some other autoimmune diseases. Please don't freak out. This is not a dogma and probably if you maintain your health in a good condition and if you help your organism to cope with your one autoimmune disease, you will never acquire any others. But still, this information that I'm going to tell you is very important. Immunoglobulins play the key role in our body's immune system. These are the proteins that are being produced by specific immune cells that are being called plasma cells in response to bacteria, viruses, as well as exposures to some substances that are recognized in our bodies as non-self harmful antigens. The first time the person is exposed to a virus or a substance or a bacteria, their immune system recognizes this counteragent as non-self and make the plasma to produce a specific immunoglobulins, which also called antibodies, that can neutralize the threat. But as we know from the previous videos, these antibodies can go crazy. So let's say that we have a patient with autoimmune anemia. The autoimmune anemia is being caused exactly by immunoglobulins IgM and IgG. They respond to antigens that are located on the surface of the cells, of the red blood cells, which leads to their destruction. The less red blood cells you have in your body, the lower your hemoglobin is, and there you go, you have anemia. That's why I'm telling you about a possibility of having another autoimmune disease if you already have one. Just imagine if your whole life you're being exposed to this destructive response of your organism, your organism gets weaker with each year, especially if you don't try to suppress this overactive response. So what doctors have to say about it? They say that the combination of at least three autoimmune diseases calls a multiple autoimmune syndrome, MAS, and about 25% of patients with just one autoimmune disease are prone to develop additional autoimmune diseases. Interesting thing that one of these several autoimmune diseases that are developed in patients with previous history of autoimmune disease frequently is skin disease, such as psoriasis or eczema or like in sclerosis. The cause of multiple autoimmune disease or just one autoimmune disease is not known and the scientists think that it has something to do with your genes or your environment. Frequent or prolonged allergic reaction can also weaken your organism. As we said in one of the previous videos, allergic reaction is not an autoimmune disease, it's an overactive immune system response. But still, if you have allergic reactions like throughout the year, it's frequent, it's constant, that can cause you bacterial or fungal infections and also complications on your ears, lungs and skin. If you are an allergic like I am, then probably lichen sclerosis goes also from this. Also, if you already have one skin autoimmune condition, it is more likely that you will develop another one also autoimmune skin condition, if that makes sense. This is all for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found out something new. Please subscribe and hit the bell button below. Thank you and see you later. Bye-bye.